Ark Survival Evolved kind of reminds us of Minecraft with improved graphics and dinosaurs, but should you buy it? Let's find out. How's it going, folks? It's Schmurf, and I'm doing a review of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One and PC. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. Alright, yeah, let's do that again. Now keep in mind, this review is an early access review, so the game is not out as I am doing this review. It is only out through game preview on the Xbox One and early access through Steam. So, this review does not pertain to the final product, but it pertains to what we have so far. So, the footage you're seeing in the background is of the Xbox One. I have played both the Xbox One and the PC version, but right now, the server we had dedicated on the PC stopped, well, we stopped paying for it, so um, it's currently not up as of this moment, even though we can put it back up any time, and I don't think we can resume what we started, but we still technically could get our server back. But, as of right now, I can only play single player on the PC version, and my PC's still having issues running it in single player. Uh, turning the graphics down and putting the resolution down a lot still doesn't have me run it at a fluent 30 FPS. So I'm hoping that there's a few patches that could fix that. But for the Xbox One version, however, it's running... I think impressively well, even though it's running at a measly 480p um, with medium to high settings, well, at least that's what I've heard, um, running at about 30 to 45 FPS, it still runs a lot better than my PCs running it in single player. Um, if I ran the game in multiplayer on PC, I could definitely get 30 to 45 frames per second, but in single player, I'm only getting 15 to 20 frames. Uh, even when I keep buffing my settings to different, well, settings, um, it's still having a lot of issues, but of course it is still an early access review. The game as a whole, the whole concept is you wake up on an island, you're naked, you're stranded, you're freezing, and you have to, you know, survive. And there's dinosaurs on the island and different creatures, such as pteranodons and trikes and stegosauruses and brontosauruses and etc, etc. So basically, it's your average survival game, kind of like, uh, people don't want me to relate um, arc to this, but it's kind of like Minecraft in a way. You wake up and you have to build your shelter and you have to survive. But in my opinion, I think this game is a lot better than Minecraft. Of course, a lot of people may beg to differ. It's, in my opinion, I actually like it a lot better because I think there's more to do. It's more of a challenge and there's, I just think it's a really a lot more fun than Minecraft has been. Even though Minecraft is still fun, it's very simplistic, and it doesn't take up a lot of space on your computer. <laughs> Arc, um, for the console, it takes up about 20 gigs. PC, it takes up 25. So you want to have some storage space on there. But And Minecraft, of course, runs a lot better on lower-end systems. Arc, you do need a beefy system. Mainly, a C it's CPU heavy as of this moment, but um, so far it's been running great on the Xbox One from how I've how much I've played it. Um, the gameplay you're currently watching is Xbox One. I streamed it to my laptop and then recorded the screen of my laptop. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I am hoping to get uh, Xbox One gameplay for you uh, folks. But going back to the whole concept of the game, I think it is a very very um, fun concept. I definitely like what they're doing with the dinosaurs, but there are some downsides to the whole game in general. Um, of course it is early access, so they're currently working on it. The biggest issue they're having is with PC and I assume Xbox One, there are a lot of optimization issues and the game is still having trouble and it's really resource heavy and their goal is to get it to release by June 2016 and with their progress, Compared to six months ago, they've done a fantastic job with updates and all that. And I'm actually surprised they got it to run on the Xbox One because the consoles, if you look at them, they're not 
so well up to date um, compared to some other builds you can build today. Um, so they've done a great job. Um, there have been, you know, Rust and Daisy. They're still in early access after being years and years on Steam through early access, and they've never been released. Ark is aiming for June 2016 for an official release, and I have really high confidence that they're actually going to release it at that date because they're doing so well with their updates, and they're being nice and fluent with them, and in the beginning they added a lot, they added a lot of optimization fixes right out of the box, and they did a fantastic job. Now, does that mean it's definitely going to be released in June 2016? Well, we don't know. Um, unless they give an official, yes, it's going to be released, we are going to release it no matter what. Um, to be honest, we just don't know. But... I have really high confidence in Studio Wildcard. But another issue I really wanted to bring up was the AI in that they can be kind of unfair. Not really unfair, but janky in a way. Like, especially the Raptor, I'm gonna say about. Because, you know, they would be charging at you and they would start attacking you and they would be basically spazzing around you and you're trying to attack it. But when you throw your spear at it, it misses because it's just going haywire around you and so hopefully they can add a little bit of a fix to that um and then another big complaint i would have to say is the alpha like the alpha raptor and all that those things are overpowered um actually there was one time on the uh, pc version that i saw an alpha raptor and i'm like oh you know i'm gonna try to attack it not a good idea, because it ended up killing me, finding my house, and destroying pretty much all of my house, and it was not fun. Um, I actually had a friend get on with me and to try to kill the Alpha Raptor. Um, I'm not sure if I still have footage of that or not, but if I do, I'm going to definitely try to find, uh, or I'm going to find it and I'm going to put it up, because it was pretty adventurous and i have to say uh, uh i do not like alpha raptors after that but um if you do kill an alpha raptor it is pretty cool because it gives you all this prime meat and then you can you preserve that and use it to help tame an animal of your liking so i mean the ai the optimization and the alpha animals are the biggest complaints that I would have to give to Ark because, but overall, for an early access game, they've done a fantastic job in development, and it's just been a great game overall, in my opinion. So, should you buy it? Um, I mean, if you want to play it right now, I would buy it. If you have an Xbox One or if you have a PC that at least has some beef to it, um, then I would say buy it because it is a fun game. Even though it has issues with optimization and all that, you can definitely work around that in the PC version and the Xbox One version while they're working on it. And it just came out December 16th for Xbox One. It's been out on PC since June and for PS4 users, sorry, you're going to have to wait um, until June for the full release. Right now, if you buy it in early access, it will only cost like thirty, like thirty dollars on the PC, unless you're counting this December sale, which it's gone down in price a good chunk. Um, the Xbox One is at thirty four ninety nine, I believe. It's about thirty seven with tax. So you buy it now, you get the full game free later on when it comes out in full. Um, the game preview game, though, it's, you get to play it now, and you can go on the forums and complain, hey, there's this issue. Like, right now, there's an issue in the Xbox One version where you enter a cave. At least there was two caves I entered, and the game would crash. And it would push me back in time, like, before I made my smithy in my refining forge, and I got really upset. So... Overall, it's a fun game. It's really fun. I recommend playing it, especially if you want to play with friends. Um, it's definitely fun. But I would recommend, if you're going to play with friends online, get a private server or look for a PvE server. Because right now, PvP servers are kind of risky. We went on a PvP server, um, me and my friends. 
and there was one group who blocked off a cave, and we tried to get into the cave, and they ended up killing us and destroying our base, and they did it multiple times, so we're like, alright, we have to fight back. We went into full-out war against that group for about a month. <laughs> it was day and night, like every single night at like 10 o'clock I would hop on and I would we would rebuild our base and build a bunch of grenades and we would get ready for battle. We actually partnered up with like two different tribes to help fight against this group and it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Um, and then when daytime came around, we would come back on, they would be on, they would have just, they just destroyed our base and they went back and forth and eventually we gave up. We moved, and that didn't work out either, and then we decided, you know, we're going to move servers completely. We got our own server, we made our own houses, and we kind of teamed up against each other. And sadly, that server went down because we stopped paying for it. But it's a fun, I mean, it's fun. It's, it's definitely debatable if you should play it online. If you do play it online, just play at your own risk. Um, you do happen, if you, when you... When you leave the game, your body goes to, like, paralysis, and it kind of just stays there. So people can kill you, loot you, they can destroy your base and take your stuff, and it's not fun. But in PvE, it's only you versus the environment, so players can't harm your base or anything in your base. So that's pretty fantastic. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I recommend buying it. Um, if you buy it right now, you get it cheaper than you would if it comes out in June 2016. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Smurf out.